looking okay. I want it be. Robbie's gone and look, the sky didn't fall in. For now. Oh, Mum, stop worrying. Look, if you really want to help, there's loads to be done for Sarah's party tomorrow. All right, go on. I need you to pick some balloons up for me, drop them at Grandad's. What? Have you spoken to Robbie? He's not got back to any of my messages. I'm pretty sure he's kept you out of it. And I never said anything, so. Okay. Well, thanks for letting me know. You don't seem bothered, Debbie. Shouldn't you be getting him a solicitor or something? Listen, if you cross somebody, there's going to be consequences. Robbie knows that. Wait a minute, what are you saying? Someone's grassed him up, who's going to do that? Who do you think? You know, I'm really surprised that your mum didn't tell you. Still sure the sky's not going to fall in? Slip. First of all, you're on my sofa. Then you make it up to Dad's old room. So where next? My bed, right? What exactly did you think was going to happen? That eventually I would be so scared for the safety of my two innocent little kids that I'd suddenly want to sleep with you. You didn't need to ring the police on me. Why would you do because that? Because I wanted you to get it. I wanted you to know what it feels like to be manipulated and betrayed by someone that you trust. It wasn't like that. Robbie, you know that they are my world. She nearly died. And just when I started to feel safe, like maybe I won't lose her, you turn up and start playing on them fears! Debbie, I thought you liked me! I don't like you. It's all in your stupid little head. I get Debbie, your eyes off. Get off my daughter, right? Did I not tell you this would happen? Where are the kids? Thanks, she can. She's only bothered when it suits her. Oh, I'm here, babe. You're all right. Listen, they're just having a really silly, silly argument. You do not work for me anymore. Gross misconduct. This isn't over. Oh, it is. Because I say it is. Well, Sarah's feeling a bit better. No thanks to you. I wish you'd have seen his face. I told him it was me. A whole night in a cell, and he still didn't work it out. Priceless. He was going to batter you. I was handling it. Like you were handling your imaginary stalker? You let that freak into your house because you were scared witless. And why? Because you crossed Kirk and it was your dad who had to get him to back off, I did not it? ask for his help. No, and that is the trouble. You never do, do you? Because you're like some fortified little island that no one can get in. Well, you're wrong because people do get in, like Robbie. And never mind you, I'm scared for those kids. I would never let anything happen to those kids. He already has. Sarah now thinks that Robbie's some big bad wolf. And what gives you the right to come here telling me how to live? Because I don't actually think you were the world's greatest yes, mother. Yes, all right, I know that I have made mistakes, but I'd never put no through that. Fighting and screaming with a bloke in front of him. No, Debs, you don't do that ever. And you think that I'm going to take advice from a screw-up like you? I don't want or need your help, right? No. Because you always think you know best, don't you? Well, you don't. And you reckon I'm a bad mum? You need to take a very good look at yourself, Debs. Because you are stuck on self-destruct and you need to get real. Or what? Or we're done. Suits me. <laughs>